When buying or selling your home, call Leo Bato. He has years of experience in real estate, showing honesty and integrity in every transaction. He's a person you can definitely trust. So book your appointment with Leo Bato today by giving him a call at 818-648-4837 or by visiting him on the web at www.leobato.realtor. Rejuvenate your smile with Dr. Lourdes Kaplong's comprehensive range of dental solutions. Along with general dentistry, Dr. Kaplong specializes in cosmetic dentistry, including teeth whitening, bonding, dental veneers, and surgical crowns. Whether it's urgent care or preventive treatment, she'll take care of you and your smile. To schedule an appointment, call the clinic at area code 323-257-7582. This episode is brought to you by ABBA eServices. And the podcast will begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, live at Paco's Place, my good friend, pwede ko nang sabihin, little sister, Miss Melody Del Mundo. Hello, Paco. Oh my God. This is not your first time. Actually, nung bago pa lang ang Paco's Place, you came here with the rest of the band. Right. And kayo ang isa sa mga unang performances. Mapapanood nila yon. Actually, there's a reason kung bakit namin sinandbag yung performances. Hmm. Inantay namin tong episode na to. No way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pero kung usapan namin yun na Michael ni na JJ, it doesn't make sense to bring out the performance without any... Kailan, kailan nagkaroon ng interview? Wala, di ba? No, none. Oh, this is I. Well, we you had separate interviews with the, the other guys. Pero never with you. No, this is my first time interviewing with you. Yes. As a matter of fact, I think this might be our first time really t- sitting okay. down yes. and talking together. Yes. yes. So. So. It's kaya, kaya naka, it, it, it's it's really fun. It's really sentimental, also, especially for me. Tapos yun nga yung pinag-usapan namin tatlo, because the performance. By the way, guys, ha, ito, your performance actually changed the look of the studio. Because when you guys came in, mm-hmm. kayo ni na nagdala ng mga ilaw, mm-hmm. right? Di lang ako malis mga ilaw, oh, anjam para nang ngayon. So, you guys changed the, the landscape of the studio. The kataon lang sinabi namin, it doesn't make sense to put it out without you having this conversation because we ngayon mapapag-usapan na natin yung mga that's good yung mga kanta yeah. and since sinabi mo music <laughs> marami rin tayo papag-usapan dun sa oh my god <laughs> yeah you have a lot of time oh of course <laughs> of course of course but we don't want to bore everybody with you know <laughs> no but I, wa- I also want to talk about the fact that you were very influential sa Pilipinas with your type of music and and what I want to know is if there is a little girl out there who dreams or aspires to to be in the music industry. I want this episode sana to touch her heart. Okay. Ma- isang tao lang ang oh, yeah. masapul natin. We've we've done our job, diba? Right. How how young were you when you when you knew that this was something you wanted to do? Okay, so when I was young I didn't really know that I wanted to be in a band. Okay. All I know when I was young, let's say around five years old, um, I was in a family gathering and then uh, they had like those little karaoke with a microphone, yeah. you know, attached to yeah. it. And for some reason, I was the only one trying to, you know, hog the mic. And then I just wanted to sing and sing and sing. And then, you know, yung pag may mga, di ba, may mga relatives na, yeah. di ba, they, they want you, oh, pakantahin oh, pakantahin yung mga, yung, pakantahin yeah. So I was the one like, yeah, I would sing. And then that sort of probably um, kind of sparked my like my joy as far as um interacting with people because i'm naturally shy yes a lot of people don't know this but (laughs) i'm naturally shy and then um and but when i do sing in front of people i'm sort of like comfortable and then you know when i was five years old i was doing that and then i'm like oh this is fun and then you step into you know uh Elementary, and then there were there were singing contests. So, ka yeah, right? I, I would I would join those contests. Like, hindi ka nahihiya, hindi ka no. Did you know you were good? Um, I Totoo, well, ha? the teachers would applaud and say, uh, you know, sometimes in the classroom, di ba? Yes. When teachers are bored, and they would like have a few minutes of, hey, let's have somebody sing in front uh-huh, of the classroom, yeah. and I would get called before they didn't know I could sing, so I would just volunteer. 
Because you know, like you know, second grade you have a different teacher. Ang galeng ay you um you are inherently shy. <laughs> pero pagdating sa music, <laughs> yun ngang weird eh. Wala kang hindi ka na tatagot. Yeah, I think I think um because I don't know, I just feel a different type of high. Right. Uh, when when I sing, um, more of an expression of myself, and I like the songs that I'm singing. So so it's just kind of like okay, and then you're being applauded for it. So I'm like, oh okay, this is cool. Um, and then I joined the Marian Choir in our church when I was in second grade. I think from second grade to sophomore high school, that's when I got, I guess, my my whole um, training in in singing because we would practice yes. every and, week. Yes, and when you say we, and and then you're also saying choir, it meant that yung yung bosses mo had to compliment the rest yes. of the people. Right. What's the difference between singing as a group, na maraming bosses, and singing on your own? Well, when you're if you're singing on or when you're singing on your own, you don't really care about you know harmonies or um, how to blend in your your volumes, you know. And then can um, we talk about that? Yung, sure. Yung blending in your harmony because you, they they actually relate to real life. Eh. People don't yep. know na di ba hindi ka yep. pwedeng an backup ka tao sa taas taas ang lakas lakas ng bosses mo right. mga ganon but what what's the mindset when you're in a choir setting and alam mo lahat kayo magagaling na alam mo lahat kayo may tenga paano ang demeanor paano mindset okay don? so this is a good question because when i was in the choir and i was younger right i was second grade third grade and then there were girls who are older than me and then they would go they would have their solo um you know stints sometimes yeah. during a choir yes. setup and i'll be like I, w- I want to sing. I want to sing like that. You know, I want to be, I want to have a solo part. But then you, since you're young and you're new in the in the choir, you're supposed to kind of be trained yeah. first. And then you have to sort of follow, you know, s- instructions and be with the girls, be with the, let's say I was in soprano too. So he, I cannot sing some of the melodies. Yeah, sometimes I cannot sing that, but I want to sing that. Right. And then no, this is your part. These are your notes. These are your, you know, this so is when discipline. You, ka discipline. Oh. And then since it's a church choir, um, it's not naman uh, so strict. But then you learn to okay, you only sing this part, and then you only sing this part this way, diba? So but I, I don't want to sing it that way. Pero I guess that's the difference. Right. But looking back in hindsight, nakita mo ba yung value? Nun? Oh yeah, yeah. Because then you 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 think of. Oh hey, it's not only me, diba? Like like this is not about me. <laughs> That's why you're in a choir, diba? It's a group effort. It's a group effort to make a beautiful music together. So kung merong isang pasaway jan na, yeah yeah yeah. Ito gusto kong gawin. Yes. Um, it's gonna it's gonna stand out like a sore thumb. Because then you see, hey, you're too loud, or you. Because I was, I was, I was told that you need to lower your voice a bit because this is like a soft part of the song. And you cannot go wah like that. So so it is. Uh, no. you need you 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 listen to your other your, your peers, uh-huh. and then you learn to sing with the group. So you got awareness, right? No? Right. And then it's not your way. This is not your way. Okay. So you have to listen. You have to follow, and then you have to you know do as you're told. When 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 you became a professional musician. So, uh, did did it all come back naturally yung when you started hindi ko naman sinasabi magmando sa sugar hiccup pero when you started you know just telling people okay let's do this let's try this were you looking at the big picture or were you just looking at your part in the big picture nang nagets you yeah. so so in the in the beginning since i was new you know the band was called ground before sugar hiccup okay and then the guys you know they were already band members so in the beginning i was just like okay sure do this oh sure i could so do that. Bagong member kan- <laughs> yeah. naman, okay. i was the newest member and then um i was not planning to sing i i just wanted to play guitar guitars. rhythm guitars right um but then so when i started and then i was joining them and they were playing, I think, covers of The Doors, uh, which is one of my favorite bands. Right. And then Zandro, my, you know, the band member, one of the band members of, of Sugar Hiccup, he has original songs. And then he wanted me to sing some of them. I didn't want to sing some of them. But he was like, well, you know, you got to try this, you know. So that came as, as a role of what I was trained for when I was right. younger. It's so, not always about the... Yeah, uh, parang, and then kahit ayaw mong gawin. Yeah, because sigla? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I have to do this, diba? Para kware, diba? Tapos nun, pag okay na. 
after a few years, Kumbare. I don't want to do that. Uh-huh. You have to, it's <laughs> kumbaga, you have to, you, you had to pay your dues. Right, right. And, and you know, it's a matter of, uh, see, I'm the newest member. I cannot mm. be the one who's bratty and right. like, like, no, I don't want to do that. All right, then, then you know where it's going. Like, But, okay, you didn't want to do that. You had to do that. Pero, did you know what the end was going to be? No. Na, oh, you didn't know na, oh, sige, gagawin ko to ngayon. Pero one, one of these days, no, no. later on, ako na magdidikta. No, so I wasn't planning for that because hindi naman ako, hindi naman ako yung parang may, may revenge na, sige, right, gawin right, ko to lahat. Right. And then, it wasn't like that. I think, along the way, once you have established that relationship, mm. diba, with your, your band members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Then you get into conversations and dialogues, diba? Parang, no, I don't agree with that. So, meron ka ng may, fo- voice may footing ka, ka oh. <laughs> Parang nandiyan magugulat sila. Parang, kasi I don't speak much either. Yes. When I was in the band, parang, okay, sige. Okay Go with the flow. Oh, and then, I don't, I don't, I don't get into small talks. Right. Parang, sige, I, you know, if I could do it, I'll try. If not, then di kaya. Parang ganun, di ba? So, ganun lang. Um, pero hindi yung in the beginning na, no, I don't want to do that. Walang, Ay, walang ganun. No, hindi. hindi. And, and, and interesting enough na the songs worked out. Because those those songs from Zandro, actually, yeah. those were songs that we recorded for the first album, and uh, it turned out na oi okay pala that I was singing most of them. So, di ba yung yung ang nakakatawa eh dito, dito sa sinasabi mo, kahit hindi mo kahit di ka comfortable on the surface, the, the fact na ni respeto mo si Zandro at yung gawa niya, ano it 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 um. It came to your benefit also, eh, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Yung ganun, eh. Na other people, narrow-minded or close-minded, ayoko niyan, ayoko niyan, basta right. ayoko niyan. Right, yeah. They shut down right yeah. away, di ba? Yeah, di ba? Parang ganun. Okay, balik ulit tayo from your youth because not only do you sing, you also play guitars. Mm-hmm. How did that come about oh, naman? God. Yung playing of the guitar was, uh, I was in fourth grade <clears throat> and then, for some reason nasira yung yung ano karaoke i bet na nasira yung karaoke <laughs> i got hatak yung mic wala na kaya kita i think the pagalitan ako ng mom ko so I kind, of, I, i kind of uh, locked myself up in in the room you know i was crying and all that and then i saw her guitar hanging on the wall um and then i'm like pagtripan ko kaya to di ba parang wala akong magawa eh. and i was you know in the room and so and you know how those jingle chord books you yes. know where we would have those um the the guide of the fingers for each chord yeah. at the back of the yeah. so there was this song uh, that i wanted to learn it's i know him so well so it was in that jingle chord book tapos and dami chords na na b flat nga agad eh. I know. b flat <laughs> f <laughs> na bilang na isip <laughs> <laughs> so I go, okay, all right. So I, I tried and then because I was playing rondalia and banduria okay. in the choir before guitar. So ang ganda ng training mo talaga, no? Yeah, so it helped me a bit. Matut, marunong ka na mag yeah. 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 No, ganda, ganda uh-huh. nga. So, so, yun. And then um, I learned the guitar my, you know, by my own. And uh, after the B flat and the Fs, madali na yung A and the Ds, yeah. diba? So, and E, and E minor. So, yes. after that, okay, na kahit ano, natutugtog ko. So, ngayon, na, 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 did you write your song in the room? Nung naka- no, I didn't. But I started writing songs when I was, um, it started with poetry. Kasi when you are in high, when you're in high school, you have, you know, like an English, English teacher. Who Kala ko say, sasabihin mo, when you're in high school, maraming drama. <laughs> <laughs> so- Ay, maraming drama talaga po in high school. <laughs> Oh my God! Anyway, I don't okay. get me started. Uh, um, English poetry. Uh, English tapos. English teacher, yeah. you know, with poems. So I I I wrote a lot of poems, and then and then our music teacher would come and say, "Okay, your project for this I don't know trimester this this quarter is for you guys to write a, a song." And my poem na ako, so I guess I have the lyrics down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll just have to okay, let me figure out what to put melodies on this. But it was tough for me to write songs that way. I I. I As I grew older and then as I, you know, joined the band, I kind of have more comfort in having the melodies first and then the lyrics can just right. Yeah, be done in like five right. minutes or so. You know what I uh, thought? Who named you? <laughs> Who named me? I think my mom. And Why? Why did I she name know. you Melody? I, I, I don't know. I, I never asked. I didn't. I, I no. I didn't ask. Never. 
At least meron na tayong ano, no? Meron tayong hanging question, no? You can ask my mom that. I will, I will. <laughs> because the reason I wanted to know, ngayon ko lang, while you're, while you're talking, ngayon lang pumapasok sa isip ko na, na, the, and I'm glad you said your mom because your mom is very, in, no pun intended, very instrumental sa buhay mo at saka sa buhay ko. <laughs> diba? And, and off cam, we were talking about your mom. Hi, Mommy Flora. And, um, she is responsible for discovering intro voice. Without your mom, walang intro voice. Without intro voice, walang ten of another kind. Without ten of another... You, yes. Yeah. The rest is... Siya, siya ang godmother ng ten of another kind. It was her concept. Right. It and, was, and she co-produced that She too. co-produced it. It was her baby. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was supposed to be an intro voice album. Uh, Drinap kami ni Belia Tan. So your mom said, mga anak hindi natin kaya ng one album mm-hmm. but i will prove my point and and she she really put out money for that wow. for that album wow see she believed right yung mga recording ng intro voice sa album na yon hindi na ni-record yun eh because she paid for the demo and yung mga demo na yon ang nakalagay sa ten of another kind oh i didn't know that talaga she diba j <laughs> Like, siya ang nagbayad oh ng record. God. Like, kahit sa kami magpunta, like, karay-karay niya kaming lima. And then, anim nung dumating si Ira, karay-karay niya kaming lahat. Nice. Oh e- my goodness. Everywhere. And I'm like, she named you Melody. Mm-hmm. And you have, no, ito, ito not cliche, but you have, a, you have the voice of an angel, even if you cuss a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Get to hear that later, yes. <laughs> I blame diba? my work for that. <laughs> diba? I mean, pag narinig ka ng komanta, parang, oh my God, ang ganda ng boses nito. Uh-huh. Thank you. Did your mom sing and perform? And was she, uh, you, because she was in the music industry. Eh. I think my mom played a guitar. Uh, I remember her when I was young. That's why there was a guitar in that room. She uh-huh. had a guitar. I know she would play sometimes and she would just sing to herself, but I never heard her like sing in front of I don't know if she did, but I didn't know if she ever sang in front of a crowd just because she wanted to sing or whatever. She go to Pagkatuwa, you di ba? Nakareoke. But I, not like a performance kind of right. you know, level. So, okay. So, the reason, buti sinabi mo yun. So, now, yung name, tatanin ko na mami mo kung bakit kanya pinangalan <laughs> ng melody. Pero, I, I, sineset up ko lang yung, yung scenario for everybody. She really pushed intro voice in every direction so that we would make it. Mm-hmm. But here was her daughter starting her own career. I don't know what capacity you knew your mom was in mm-hmm. and how influential she really was because she was big boss of EMI Philippines. But how did you benefit from being the daughter of Flora Portilla Ramos? This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates, ang realtor na pato. I think that only came in when... Or did you know? Did you even no, know? No, no. Hindi mo No, I didn't. Oh my God. Because cause when I had the band, she was just like, oh, mom, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be joining a band. And she said, okay, whatever, fine. Like she was like, I'm going to work. Okay, work. Yeah, yes. And I was in third year college when I started, you know, joining uh, Ground then, who now, that became Sugar, Sugar Hiccup. Hiccup. So, and... You know, she was probably like, oh, it's just a band thing. You know, it's like, diba, during those times, lahat nagbabanda. Lahat nagbabanda. Diba? So, so, okay, banda, banda. And then, um, we got discovered by, it's funny, kasi, ironically, Dodong Viray, yeah. the late Dodong Viray, who co-produced uh, Ten of Another Kind with my mom, yes. discovered us. Um, and I don't know if he knew that then na anak ako ni, ni Flora or maybe he knew oh, so wow. I think ah uh, I'm not sure and then when he oh, oh okay anak ni Flora or parang my mom mentioned oh th- my, that's my daughter oh okay parang so it was okay then that made me feel even better parang okay I don't I don't need my mom to to push you know some people you know push some fingers and right, whatever right, influence right. Right. Yeah. Um so so I want I'm proud to say that we we made it self made uh, because you know because of who Effort, we were yeah. diba, and the songs that we played uh, pero ang galing no? parang parang iniisip ko lang na your mom is the godmother of band crossover. And pag sinabi kong band crossover, the underground was filled with bands. Mm-hmm. 
But it was your mom who saw, who had the vision of bringing these bands from the underground up to the surface. Right. In, For you guys in Ten of Another Kind. Ten of Another Kind, right? Yeah. And um, using the powers that she had. And up to now, it's a seminal album. Yeah. And, oh my God. Oh yeah. It's classic. Na classic. Di ba? Yeah. So, nakita mo yung capacity na yun, or ikaw parang, okay, that's an album. Okay, that's my mom. Okay, these are bands. When did it hit you na, oh my God, that was my mom. You know, that hit me later on na lang talaga eh. Oh. Hindi, hindi, <laughs> hindi talaga. Like, kasi, because maybe because I was not being braggy, but I was doing it on my own. Yeah. Naman, diba? Not naman as a rebel way of doing no, it. No, no, no. Like and and, and I, I think um, her part of how, I guess, Sugar Hiccup was able to, what you call this, soar um, faster yeah. was when, when she worked at BMG Records. Yeah. Uh-uh. And and she um, she was friends with you know Rudy yes. and Narciso Rudy and all that yeah. yeah and Vic Valenciano yes. who is the A and R. Right, they're mag- friends. Eh. And they came from the we yeah, are. Yes. Sila. Oh, so so Same when when we sila. when we auditioned at Dread Club Dread uh, na sa Pituazan sa Cubao na yeah. nun, um, we BMG checked us out, and at that time um, they like we already had our songs. And then we were already called Sugar Hiccup. And so they picked up five years when we sang it, you know, at the, at the club. And interestingly, sabi nila, that, that could be a good single. And so they, they you know, they approached us and then um, they wanted to, to sign right. sign us up. So I think doon lang na parang, siguro my mom kind of mentioned na, hey, you know, melodies playing at Dread na, or parang ganun. You know, they have songs, you know, but she didn't say, oh, you need to... You need to sign my daughter. Know, yeah, yeah. Not, nothing like that. So because there were other labels who were also interested yeah. at that time. Yes. And prior to the Oracle album, we were already in the alphanumeric sampler. We had three songs there. Nice. So, so there were some interests from other labels. But What was the first single of the band? Uh, from the Oracle album, it's five years. Uh, right. But from the alphanumeric sampler, it was someday. So five years is the song without lyrics. Yeah, the lyrics was just on the last part. How many words? Five words. Five words. Five words. It should be five words, not five, five years. Yeah. Five words. <laughs> five words. When you made five years. Oh, Lord. Whose idea was that? Uh, the bassist. Were you were you were you aligned with this idea? Well, did you know that it was gonna be a hit? Nagtitrip lang kami pax, and then during <laughs> and then during that time, we would even have that as our first song as a sound check. Pag sound check. <laughs> oh, because I were just okay, just vocalize, vocalize, uh, diba? so vocalize. Oh, di ang gempataas na sorry, pataas okay. na ako ng pataas. And then later on, na pagparating mo na kinakan, ta hindi ko nakaya sa vocalize. <laughs> And then you can sing it towards the end of the of the, the set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even have enough voice na rin, di ba? So parang it's so ironic. Oh nga, no? Because the first song became the last song. Dahil naging hit song. Yeah. And then yun, during last song, nagasgas na yung voice oh mo and all. God. It, it's so ironic. But then I guess that it was controversial. Yes. Diba? It was, oh, what is this? And then yeah. it's funny because some of my friends, when they first heard it, like, Melody, your song, I, I want to kill myself <laughs> after listening to it. Ako rin, ako, ako pinapaking, pinapakinggan ko yun sa uh, kotse. And, and I'm a pop guy, so I'm all about mm. the lyrics, yeah. di ba? And the melody. Ang ganda ng melody. And then it's like, ito na, ito na. Wala pa rin, okay. <laughs> it's intro. <laughs> ito na, ito na, ito na. Wala pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos na yung song. Tapos na yung song, di ba yun na yung lyrics? Pero ang galing, dahil ang lakas ng loob nyo. Oh, you know, yeah. in a world where... I mean, was it a conscious effort na, you know, na, nandiyan ang Eraserhead, yeah. nandiyan ang River Maya intro voice, nandiyan ang True Faith, dito tayo, gagawa tayo ng lane na to, hindi tayo maglalagay ng lyrics, pero the melody is haunting and melancholic enough to really hit your soul. Yun ang inisip ko. So who, who came up with the melody? Well, the melody was me. Okay. because uh, they, I mean, I know that your right. melody. No, no. But, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the melody of the song. <laughs> Kulit ni Pax. Tanghali ito, ah. Tanghali, ah. It's the coffee. Anong meron dyan? Okay, game. You food for the gadget. Oh, yes. That's right. I'm going to make some space. So, anyway. No, the melody was more on me because they just asked me to sing whatever. 
So, nung recording, was that more of like a spontaneous No, mel- it was already set. Okay, set. Pero in the beginning, you know, when we were trying to build the song and then we're making mm-hmm. it the way it is or it was, so, oh. you know, yun, pang, it was from me. But then the lyrics was from the basses at that time. Right. And then, um, like, we were like, oh, ito, gawin mo lyrics, ito lang, ito lang, ganyan, ganyan. And then we were like, Sige, 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 sige. Yeah, so it was Ang fun. Lakas ng loob niyo talaga. It was fun because we were just tripping. Yeah. Tapos, when you were asking earlier, like, it, it, was it a conscious effort to sound differently? Yes. It wasn't. It's just that this is how uh, we sounded together as a group. Um, and then we kind of like, okay, this is comfortable for everybody. Yeah. So, walang pilitan. Diba? So, Ang galing. So, okay, now you were riding high. Kayo ang pinag-uusapan ng banda. The only other band at the time, the only other bands at the time was um, na talagang nakikita kong humahataw sa level na yon was Color It Red, uh, Prettier Than Pink. Can I say, Ag- Agawa Gimat was still in the underground, pero they were they were going on a different level. Mm-hmm. Kayo kasi napunta sa pop, sta- sa, dahil naano kayo sa cranberries ng right. time na yun eh, yeah. di ba? Uh-huh. So, did it feel like, oh my God, they're making me into the next pop star? Because that's how that's how I saw you before na ginugroom na parang um, mukhang masisingle out si Melody rito and, and kawawa naman yung banda because umuusabong si Melody na ganon. There was a time, I, I got I got offered to do a solo album. Yes. But I I didn't accept it. As in, turn down on the spot or did you contemplate? Did no, you think I of- just turned it down because... Um, Hindi ko alam kung kaya ko kumanta ng pop songs noon. Yun nga, kinakanta mo bago ka nagbanda. But the, the, the songs that we were singing, hindi naman siya pop na pop. Na, it's not like, it's, it's cranberries, diba? And then we were covering, ano, the Sundays. Yes. It's it's pop but not like commercial. Not your commercial pop. pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when when I was asked to sing a solo, or uh, record a solo album as a pop artist, natakot ako. Kasi alam mo na kung anong gagawin nila right. sa'yo eh. And, and I, I don't know if I have that comfort level. But it's funny because you, you mentioned nga, I was singing pop songs when I was yes. in front of the classroom. Yes. Right? Like, yes. you know, I would I would sing whatever. Pero now that I have experience being in a band and the type of music that we were playing, parang yun yung naging comfort zone ko at that time. And then now you're gonna pull me. And then I could not imagine myself singing without a guitar. Oh, <laughs> Kasi pag pop singer ko nung time na yon, it's yeah. not, it wasn't yes. it wasn't common pa with no, Diba no, 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 no. until DJ Alvaro yes. came with Diba yes. which is later a little later on. Pero I'm like I I, I can't I, what kind of songs are am I gonna sing? And I didn't even know kung sino susulat or I could sing my own songs but I know it's gonna sound different and was I know it's gonna not gonna be in my comfort zone. Was it scary habang lumalaki kayo as a band? Naramdaman mo ba na um, did, kasi pag bago kayo, kayo lang ang in control eh. You have, you have reins on the band. All of you have have a voice. Ganyan, ganyan. When a label comes in, all of a sudden may outside influence going in. And then you get bigger. Now may fans, may management. Who managed you nung mga panonin? Uh, eh? Anne Angela. Oh, so, which is, by the way, shout out Anne. Hi Anne. Nakita ba kayo? I know, nakita ba kayo when she was here? Yeah. yeah. She, she she stayed with us for a few days. Oh, that's oh, nice. Yeah. That's nice. May utang sa akin. May utang pang coffee sa akin si Ann. <laughs> so si Ann managed you guys. Siya rin ang nag-manage sa E-Heads nung yeah. nag-start ang E-Heads. Mm-hmm. So nung, nung lumaki kayo ng lumaki, ng lumaki, ng lumaki, did you feel that, did you feel na wala ka ng control sa banda or, or chill ka lang hanggang stardom? So I, I think hindi kami dumating sa point where we got really, really, really big. But again, in, in comparison to your bracket you were actually there exploding in your own and thank you for that because um when that was happening we we were feeling it because of the gigs that were being booked di ba right. parang halos may lagari ka na yeah. like meron ka ng shows like twice in one night in, in one night right yeah. so those were the things that we can't control but we were we were liking it kasi di ba parang oy okay to we have you know money and yes. then you can you get to play yes um with the experience of going out of town and all that um, it did not get to the point, even with the recording company, BMG Records, when we were recording um, Oracle, they, they let us be. Parang, that's they nice, gave us the no? freedom. Kaya, that's why we were able to record the album that way. Um, and, and the first uh, album was produced by uh, Raymond Marasigan and Ellie Buendia, who were first-time producers as well during that time. So parang we, were, we were both learning from each other. And it was so raw. 
How did it feel working with both of them? It was ironically a- both of them, no. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so starstruck ako noon talaga yeah. because he had at that time, I think they were recording, I don't know, what's the third album on Ayata? What's the third album, Mike? Are you guys familiar I mean, with the third I'm album? I'm not, ano na, Caterpillar ba? Tatapo na naman si Ellie, hindi mo na naman alam kung ano yung album namin. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> and Circus was the second one yeah. kasi. So I, during that time, syempre parang halong starstruck tapos ako yun ah, I'm speaking for myself, not the band. And at the same time, parang I was kind of questioning, parang, okay, anong alam nila? <laughs> Not naman in a bad way. Kasi parang, this is our first album. Parang, Tapos binigay sa first time producers. <laughs> hindi naman. Parang we were both learning from each other. But I was like hoping na there will be kind of um, more uh, experience. Yeah. But the good thing that, that happened uh, is because hindi rin sila, you know, because we were free-flowing, they let us be as well. But they would step in pagka, okay, you need to, uh, especially pag hindi kami cosmic, like Raymond Marasigan, he has that, you know, vibe always. Iba, no? Iba, iba, yung, iba yung jingan yan sila. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so it was fun then. Um, and in the end, it worked out. You know, I could have, I couldn't have thought of any, um, you know, producers as first time yeah. album record, you know, recording for the, for the band. Um, so okay naman siya. Pero siyempre noon, when you step into a recording studio as your first time to record an album, you have expectations, yes. diba? And then, and then you, parang okay, this is it. Pero it turned out pala na this is the right people. This is the right team. Okay. Looking back in hindsight, knowing what you know now, if you, Ellie, and Raymond were having coffee today and Raymond and Ellie say, you know what? All differences aside, not that they have any, mm-hmm. pero they're, they're, they're both opinionated, di ba? Mm-hmm. And ikaw, hindi ka na greenhorn, marami ka na rin alam, and they say, tara, we'll produce your your album. Would you let them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you be excited about I it? I would be so excited knowing what, <laughs> what they, they know, know now. <laughs> and then, and then and yeah, know now. I'm sure we've already oh, developed ako, no? the enrichment of yeah. experience from the years since we, that was what, 1995? That's a title, yun, enrichment of experience. It's a lot of fun. I think it would be fun because now ano na, parang, I, I, we've grown. It's like working with people uh, with people na nung nene pa kayo nung, yes. nung green apples pa yes, kayo wala yes, kayong yes. alam and then now you're all like really experienced supposed to be red apples na and everything you think ego would get in the way or ego would be out the door not with me I don't know <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry no, I don't know I mean right, uh, right. but with me like I said if 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 it's me, if I want it to, to to if I want to make it work, you know I'll I'll work with you. Yes. Uh, but then I'll be more vocal now. Yeah. Because before I wasn't, and I have never been until right. now. Being vocal, and again I hope people take note on this. Nung time na hindi ka nagsasalita, tell me what it felt compared to now you're vocal. How does it feel? Nasa ng Oh yeah. Oh, you okay game. A lot of things, diba? Like when you're not vocal, there are things that you don't agree with and then you magtitimpi ka. Ano pakiramdam? Ang sakit noon eh, ang bigat. Because like it's not like nobody, no one is stopping you from saying what you want to say, but you're I'm afraid to hurt someone's feelings or you know, somebody's feelings or I would I would I do not want to face conflict. Isa 'yun sa mga I think my my challenges even, even now, even now. It's because I just I just don't want to deal with. It takes a lot of energy, right? You know, to 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 argue, um, to be uh, in, in in disagreement, diba? Yes. And then, parang for me, parang whatever you say, I don't care, diba? Parang diba? So, pero for me, parang if I don't get to say what I want, if I'm not being vocal, it's it's just here. It's stuck in here. Tapos parang ang hirap, diba? Good thing na lang, I write songs. <laughs> I know, outlet yon. <laughs> yes. Diba? And then when I write songs and then you're, you're pouring out your emotions and your feelings and thoughts and everything, I'm good na. Right. But then, um, in a way, that's not good too kasi yes. you did not let the other party or let the other parties know that, hey, they need to know what you feel or what you think. But for me, parang maybe it doesn't matter. Ay, alam mo yon. Kailan nagkaroon ng ano, turn around? Um, Kailan ko pa talaga gumano, no? <laughs> turn, turn around. <laughs> turn around. 
Minsan niya, parang, was this necessary? <laughs> Hindi lang, ano, vocal visual pa. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Turn around to like <laughs> Pero kailan ng turn around? Well, uh, I met my husband. Okay. So yon, uh, di ba medyo ano yon? Uh, that's a that's a, a different story. Yeah. Pero and then my 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 previous boss who already retired, I reported to him probably for the last seven years. He just retired last year. Oh, he pushed me talagang maging, you know, because I. To I, stand your ground. Right. I dealt with vendors of our company. Yes. And I, I'm the customer. So pretty much if you're the customer, you have to be vocal. Yes. Right? No, you should not be afraid of... of so buyer ka. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm the procure, procurement. Procurement. Yeah. Ooh, oh my God. What so a, I call that, the that, shots. That's <laughs> a nice gig. You know? Oh my God. So yeah. yeah. And, but before, <coughs> before uh, I just talk work a little bit. Uh, uh, lang. But, but before that, I was in customer service, more in operations. So you're like a yes, yes ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta make things happen for yes, the customer. Yes. But now, when I re- started reporting to this boss who already retired, I was on the other side of the fence, and he was like, "You gotta, you gotta say this. You gotta do this. You know, you gotta tell them that. You tell them not to do this, and blah 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 blah." And he pushed me like really, really hard. Him and my husband all together. So I'm like, ah. so. And and was it liberating? It was, it is, and still I feel sometimes I hold myself, but uh, I don't have the energy like to, I just kind of like, you know what, I'll just let this one go. Yes. Diba? Parang, it's tough then because it, it, I don't have that energy. Ako naman, the reason why I'm asking, I have a daughter, si Cassidy, diba? Mm-hmm. And my mom, mommy ko tahimik eh. she died of cancer. Mm-hmm. And feeling ko kaya siya namatay sa cancer dahil nakikita niya yung ginagawa ng tatay ko tapos tahimik lang siya kinikim-kim lang niya sa loob hirap yun and feeling ko it ate her up so itong anak ko tinuturuan ko na if you feel something yeah. say it yeah. even yeah. if you need to raise your hand in the crowd as long as masabi mo and don't keep it inside mm-hmm. so yung yung part na yun would you go back to the melody na tahimik or would you go stay with the melody na, who stands her ground um, and, I like the melody who stands for ground <laughs> kasi di ba parang now I'm not afraid to say what I want to say right. I mean I have not cursed before until I started working <laughs> <laughs> ngayon F this B this yeah. you know, F that and like parang wala na lang although it's not good then di ba of course, I, of I course. mean I'm a woman I'm a mom and <laughs> yeah. but uh, wala eh ganun uh, na ganun. lang talaga ako magsalita and I think it's it's better so boundary is important oh yeah Oh. Putting, you know, say, you know, creating that space, right? Ba? Right, and 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 I guess ito rin kasi, I, I think the reason too why I was like that before because you tend to choose the people that you want to be upfront with, ah, diba? Yes. So parang um, and now I'm still trying to learn that even if you're closer to that person, you the more that you need to say what you want to uh-huh. say. And regardless of hurting that person's feelings or not, or hurting yourself, yes, you gotta you gotta tell them. And you're okay na ikaw rin sabi ka ng derecho. Well, yeah. Mas respetuhi mo pa yon. Masakit din yon minsan. Yeah. But now I've learned to 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 take that in. This episode is brought to you by Dr. Lourdes Capulong. Are you appreciative na honest ng ibang tao sa as opposed to beating around the bush? Because si yes. you're not you're not uh, fond of small talk. Parang mm. tayo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right now, lalo na, lalo na matanda na tayo. Parang, especially time here. Parang it's it's wala na akong time for small talk. Just just get to the point. You know what? What is your problem? Anong pro, anong issue mo, di ba? Anong pag, balak mo? Pag-usapan uh-huh. na lang. Anong plano mo? Uh-huh. Pag-usapan na lang natin. Yes, I agree. Now, bakit ka na sa Amerika? Because I got petitioned to be here. By? By my dad. Oh, how did that feel? Uh, that was heartbreaking. We were in the peak of, oh my God, the first album just released. Yes. And three months after it got, you know, it launched, I have to fly here because I was turning 21. Uh, my age out. Yeah. And to people who don't know that, you have to be here before you hit the age yep. of 21. Going in the goodbye green card. Goodbye Literally that. a few days before I hit 21 was, was when I arrived here the first time. Because I was just delaying, I was prolonging it. The first album just launched. So you knew may, may tanning ang career mo sa, Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it was, and BMG Australia was interested. 
and then wala, did, did you eh. tell your bandmates that I was leaving they knew oh oh um parang story to ng dying yang eh di ba magkakaroon ka ng relationship <laughs> sa isang taong alam mo mamamatay na di ba parang oh, diba? do you want to go through it or uh-huh. you know, right but anyway I came back naman after I, I got my green card pero syempre the momentum, the momentum yes and then parang BMG2 was like parang oh di ba parang we we signed a, a three year contract with them Uh, whatever comes first either three albums or you know three whatever. years oh, yeah. so we were able to record two albums but uh, it was not it was it was di- the, the the momentum of the band and mm. the, the opportunities that came na, nasira because the optics don't na parang okay she can just leave anytime right it was a problem because everybody had to had to leave my great even my mom oh wow and, oh. and my siblings and everybody so when i came back i was just myself They were all here now, and then I just had to. I came back because I just want to pursue with the band, and then also to fulfill the obligations. With I mean, I could have just left it, right? yeah. but I, my love for music kind of, um, you know, kind Compelled of pulled you, me, yeah. pulled me to go back there. I was having fun, 21, right? Diba? Parang bata, diba? Man, uh, single. Ind- independent. Oh, diba? Independent ko, no? Oh, wala na, wala na si mami. Oh, bu- buhay rock and roll <laughs> yeah, kuhara, yeah, yeah, diba? Yeah. Um, and then I had an opportunity to work here right away because I had a job when I first um, migrated here. I had a job as a receptionist right. and I just saved the money. I just saved everything so I could buy myself a plane ticket and then to to, to survive, yeah. you know, the whatever the next few months of being in the Philippines on my own. And I was just living off gig gigs, money. Gig money, yeah. Yeah, diba? Ganun lang. Um, and then a good thing though is that I was staying at the house where we used to live. Okay. Na wala pang nakatira, but my mom sold that okay. to a friend. So para kang nagsa squat sa dati mm, mong bahay. Yeah, because it was it yes. was completely syempre wala nang furniture. Yeah, I know. Di ba parang kama na lang, parang ah, parang di ba ito ba talaga yung gusto mong gawin? Yes. Di ba? So kaya pumasok ang adulting sa buhay mo. When did when did reality hit you? Because it bites everybody, di ba? Ay, yun na yung nagkaanak na. Okay. Yun na yun. Kasi, so sa Philippines yung una mong anak. Right. Yeah. No, I had to fly here. Oh, para okay. Yun. So yun din isa pang wild na story din yun, di ba? Parang whatever I was doing there, uh whoever it was, I have to fly over here because right. I have to I want to make sure that US citizen yung yung, yung, yung baby anak. mo. Uh-huh. You me mentioned momentum. Whatever direction it is, pag nagkikinig ng momentum, it amplifies uh, the the ano the trajectory or velocity of that that thing that you're doing mm-hmm. when it was music nagkaroon ng momentum exponential yung growth pag balik mo sa Pilipinas na ikaw na lang mag isa oh well, nawala yung momentum sa sugar hiccup but you were you were adulting in the Philippines yeah. diba? you were living the independent lifestyle and that had its own momentum and trajectory right. yeah. and then bumalik ka sa America to give birth was there another real- realization was it different from the first time you oh yeah because now now you have a responsibility uh-huh. okay and now it's not just all about me again diba? back to the little girl right. in the right back to you know uh trying to figure things out trying to listen yeah and then trying to know your parts diba? know oh, when talaga. know when to come in yeah. know when to stop know but to doing say that, nothing yeah but doing that time it was hard for me because I, it was your first time, yes. Diba? And then I was like, I, I didn't know what to do. Um, I wanted so much to go back, right? But there was just a lot of things going on. And then now your priority is, you know, I have to be here because, you know, because of this baby. Acha na katagot na para sa now that we know better, music never leaves us, you know. I don't think so. Sometimes yeah. we just have to do what we need to do at the moment. Mm-hmm. At babalik at babalik yeah. sa atin yung yeah. yung talagang gusto nating akapin, eh, right. diba? Because Because when you started your family, and I remember, I think I met your sister-in-law in in one of the facilities that I go to, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and this was like uh, 2011, pa ano mga yeah. ganon mga panahon nayon. So sabi ko, is she here on tour? Iyan pati na nung ko, and and sinabi niya na, no 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 no, she's here, she lives here. Mm-hmm. And sabi ko, oh talaga, and I was happy. I go with whom? With the whole family. Sabi ko, talaga, mm-hmm. ganon pa. Uh, the time leon you weren't doing music you were no. living life mm-hmm. life like a normal person would live his or her life yep. diba did you ever feel na okay that chapter of my life is over 
eto na ako. I'm mom, I'm, I'm wife, I'm, I'm family woman, and I'm a career woman now. Goodbye music. Was it like that? Yeah. Wow. It was like that. Especially I had child after child. <laughs> Kasi momentum. Yeah, Mahilig ka talaga sa momentum. <laughs> Kailangan iyan ano eh. Naluto na tuto na ako oh. sa momentum ng banda so medyo momentum oh, oh. naman to. Yeah, it was it was at that point na parang I I I, I that was it. Cuz ano eh, I felt that having more children during that time now, uh parang okay, wala na. I mean, I didn't even have time for myself. Right. Um so it I had to I was just I was just not thinking about it anymore. It was like five good five good five years I would think na parang I I I'm done. Diba? And then I missed it so bad. You know, I have a guitar in the house, but I don't have the time to pick it up. Right. I don't have time to think about it. You know what? Though? Let's stop there. And, and ito nakakatawa. You knew your mom had a guitar in the house. Mm-hmm. Your kids at the time knew their mom had a guitar in the house. Mm. And you just said you had a guitar in the house and you just did not have the time to pick it up. Right. And how do we know that your mom had a guitar in the house and, and she maybe did didn't not? have the time to pick it up? Oh, nga, no? Oh, nga, no? Yeah. That's a good, ano, um, what do you call that? <sighs> Napaka meta nun, no? Oh, yun, yun, yun. Yeah, pwede. Di ba? Di ba? Yeah. I you should know. ask her that too. I should. <laughs> right down question. Pero di ba parang revelation ngayon? Yeah. No? Parang, oh, nga. So, how did music find you again? Um, I think the kids were all growing up. And then my husband came back from the service. So, now I have a little help. Yung lagay na yun, marami kayong anak, nasa sa service pa siya. Na? <laughs> <laughs> hindi, hindi naman imagine nila man lahat nung time na yun. Imagine wala siya sa service. Baka ang dami mo ng anak. Oh my God. Thank you for your service nga pala. <laughs> And, and during, I don't know, when he, when he was not there, okay, I mean, okay. it was just a, well, still four, four and a half years. It was, okay. a, good, it was a long time. But yeah. um, it was uh, on our second child when he worked for, for the army. Yes. And then after that, nung tapos na yung term niya, he came back. And then that's when I kind of, okay, I guess. And then medyo nag-grow na yung mga bata. Did he open it up na? Um, I talked about him I talked about it uh, with him and I said hey um, I I think I want to start playing again yung So is this is this the melody 2.0 na nagsasabi na nang na, na, na nararamdaman niya kaya nagawa mong sabihin um, sa kanya yon Hindi rin I, okay. I, cuz he knew naman um, okay. that I I still had the passion for it just didn't right. have the time uh, yeah. and I kind of sh- just shut the door um, but when I mentioned it to him hey, I think I'm I'm going to play again you know and and he said mm, whatever <laughs> so okay so it was it was okay good na ren diba uh, at least he didn't, he didn't say no yes diba? so it was it was good and then from there uh, i found a, a new pace it wasn't really a serious sort of um type of uh, band naman i'm not saying this serious na ano it's just that we were just playing um and then we had some shows and gigs. We would practice and all that. But after that, um, we dwindled down a little bit then. And then until I, you know, uh, formed with, with the melodies. Like, uh, yeah. sorry, uh, 2019. Knowing what you know now and being who you are now, um, as funny as it seems, are you still uncomfortable pulling the trigger if the trigger needs to be pulled no. on a member? No. Because for for the better, how would you say? How do you say? It? Hold on, let me. Sige lang, sige lang. Compose it. Um, I think it's it's for the benefit of many. Dun mo, I think you need to assess uh, what your decision should be based on. Um, kung ano yung mas maganda para sa nakararami. Right. Diba? And it would hurt if it hurts a person or two versus uh, the benefit of the band and where the band is going correct uh, the plans that we have set and made right if there's someone or somebody or two or whatever how many who's going to stall that we have to keep going how is it like working with an with wolf oh um wolf i'm finding out he's he when he gets into a commitment he's serious and he means business right which i like because and i like wolf because he's straightforward. Maingay lang. 
Hindi siya pag nagda-drums, I love you wolf. Di ba pag nagda-drums, hum ha, hum ha, hum ha, hum ha. Miss Kuya, love Kuya. Yeah, I can yeah. talk to him about anything. Yeah, that's Now, true. Wolf, um, yeah, he's a loud drummer, talaga. <laughs> but it 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 goes with the music. Yes. And the fact that he's the drummer of this band gives it more flavor. Oh yeah. I think than I, I'm may, not saying. May, may grit, may grit. Yeah, yung yung ano eh, yung grit. Grit yeah. is the right word. Yung dumi, yeah, yung yeah. yung tapang, yeah. yung pusta bastos, may ilahat. Lahat in a good way yon, ha? Oh, oh, wolf. wolf ha? <laughs> so that's 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 cool. So I I like that. Um, and I think. Uh, Tasho unpredictability ni Robin. Oh Lord, <laughs> Robin is fun. Like, yeah, like yeah, ginamit yeah. ko si Robin sa recording. <laughs> si Robin is Robin Rivera. Ginamit ko siya sa, he's a very good guitar player and singer. So, ginamit ko siya sa recording. Ang ganda ng take, sabi ni JJ, good take! Ulitin natin. Ang alin? Hindi na. Wala na. Oh, we're recording right now. And I can okay. tell you, he has different versions diba? for different takes. Diba? Yes! And I love it. Oh, what was, where was the other one? Right? Like, what other one? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, okay. <laughs> No, no, it's cool. Yeah, I, and I guess it works, diba? Yes, yes. So, um, yeah. So the band is is getting there as far as getting to know each other more. And you know, as you get to know each other more, then you kind of see some, you know, some kind of. Yung mga cracks, yung mga right. dapat mga. Uh, mm, diba? so anyway. Ganda, no? And what does your family say about the fact that? Oh, I just want to play some music. Became. I'm actually doing music right now. Ano siya sa ng husband mo? Ano siya sa ng kids? He's cool. like the kids are. They they think I'm I'm a rock star. Which <laughs> if if you if one if if your mom suddenly rocked it out, dung time na bago ka sumigat, bilang nakita mo sa club, dread mommy oh mo God. with Dodong Viray and the rest, Aww. and Tommy Tanchanko and the rest of the band. I would be shocked. And then mommy when she wears her boots and yeah. all that stuff, de ba? Yeah. What would you react? I would be shocked. Ako I'm, like, I'm like, oh gosh, my mom plays in a band like <laughs> she's a rock star <laughs> i want to be a rock star <laughs> i would be shocked and and would be surprised and would be proud because who would have thought I, 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 revelation and yeah. because she was always like mom to to us mm-hmm. eh. your mom Talaga, parang when i see her i know i'm safe Alam mo yung ganon? Yeah. like i would hang out to emi and i did and, and and to think that we weren't related by blood I would just walk into her office while all her staff would really have to knock. Mm. Kasi ikaw, ano lang, may permission na, na ano, hindi naman kailangan i-vocal. And I, yeah, and I would just hang out, sit down, and yeah. I'd just say, Opa ako, what, anong, gusto mo kumain? <laughs> and then kakain kami. <laughs> Yun lang mo, parang gusto, gusto mo kumain? <laughs> Di ba? Parang gano'n. Yeah. Parang, and then, wala na. And then, aalis na ako. Oh, yeah. oh my God. That, that was, that was her, na, na nakakatuwa and itong career mo you're in the states which right now ang scene natin it's growing mm-hmm. where do you see the melodies so the melodies um i'm speaking for myself but i think uh right now we really want to focus on recording because we want to produce our our music first para marinig ng mga tao yeah. di ba in, in whatever platforms. And then, um, where do we see ourselves? Um, Kasi iba yung tunog eh. Kahit Tagalog, sorry ha, ang, no, gan, yeah. ang ganda talaga eh. Talagang may, mayabang. When I say mayabang, mapapa, okay to ha, mapapa ganun ka talaga eh. Thanks. Um, I, I guess we would love to play at festivals. Okay. Yung mga ganun. Um, I, and I think if we are given opportunities, we would have our songs maybe played as, I don't know, some kind of, in a show. Alam mo yun, yung parang yeah. uh, you get hired for your songs to be played in a, like, like a, a series of oh, so, episodes okay. or something like that. So yung like mga sing, sing, may synchronization rights, mga something mechanical like rights. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So That would be nice. And, and the thing is, um, you know, with you guys already kind of uh, already making the footings yeah. of the Filipino or Phil Am bands yes. here in the U.S., di ba? It would be nice, really, to have that you know, Phil M band that could really represent us Correct. all, di ba? Na hey, you know, here's an original in Tagalog or in English or whatever. You know, we are all Filipinos. Yeah. We were not, we were not born here, di ba? We were all Filipinos. We migrated here, like a true immigrant story, and then like a success 
story of a band who was just trying to you know play some songs di ba mababaw lang naman pero hindi yan malalim nga eh <laughs> kasi, <laughs> kasi kasi ang sarap doon eh like what Jockey is doing for for film and and TV right now is what we're trying to do for for everybody tapos with all these podcasts and then yung ginagawa ni Wolf na podcast niya di ba i think i think lahat eh, if we all come together talaga as a as a community I really believe that we could change the landscape and make the Filipinos here sa states really take us seriously. You know, you yeah. know what? That's entertainment I want to consume. Right. And 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 no offense to producers um who are, you know, important. Yeah. No offense to them, but the thing is, I think they should look more into the talents I that agree. we have here, diba? Not that it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to import, you know, and to have other our, our peers, yes. you know, our colleagues to to come over here and play. But I think they need to tap onto the the talents that we already have here. Kasi marami. And um you have to just groom the market for it. Yeah. Kasi right now the market for for us is really the old school. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. The old school, you know, na kasi idad natin na and the younger generation Totoo yun. they're not wala, interested with bands wala. I, and hindi nga nila alam ang drummer eh. alam nila drum machine they don't, yeah so how do you yes how do you tap the market for that and ang, ang, ang come to think of it Michael you know JJ ang sad part dito is lahat ng mga napapanood naming banda na tumutugtog sa mga film events Puro matatanda nga. Puro mga... Diba? Kasi... Walang mga kaidaran ni na... Mga anak natin. Oo, oh, mga ganun. <laughs> diba? Like, They're uh, in a different yes. venue. Ba, anak ni Jonathan Buen kami na may banda. Pero ang tugtugan nila, iba rin. Ibang iba. Mm-hmm. Na parang, okay, parang drum machine na rin yung tumutug- magaling mag drum anak ni Jonathan. Eh. But yung raw, yung grit, yung pinag-uusapan natin na rock and roll, mm-hmm. I don't wanna think rock and roll is dead. A young band just needs to come up, come up, yeah, come out. But you guys are doing it, and that's good because you can inspire the next generation. And hopefully, you guys can go on tour and really headline a show. Na talagang now we're hoping to, di ba? Parang ganon. So now, with kids, family, work, uh, music, this young girl who had to leave the Philippines at 21. If you look back at her na alam mong kinakabahan siya, malungkot siya na, na parang hindi niya alam kung ano mangyayari, what would you tell her? Because, uh, it, because it's not just you eh. It's yeah. other aged out kids or almost aged out kids who have to leave the country. They're probably going through what you went through. Mm-hmm. But you know better now. So what would you tell them? Well, you just have to do it. I mean, um, do not be afraid or scared because you'll only know once you try it. You, you'll never know what's out there until you get there or until you're in the process of getting there. Iba sabi nila, I'm not biblical or whatever. If God uh, leads you to it, he will get you through well, yeah, it. Amen. Diba? Yes. So so if that's what you think is your is your mission, you know, it's more it's more a mission, not like your uh, what you call this. Meron tayong sinasabi minsan na yung um it's not mission eh. It's your destiny. It? Destiny, diba? It's not it's not it's if it's your, your mission. Your fate, your F A T. Uh, but if it's your mission, if you cause iba yung destiny. Calling. Ayun, yun. Calling is the right word. If it's your calling, then do it. Cause you'll know it in your heart that no matter what kind of challenges and difficulties that you go through, if this is your mission and your calling, and this is what's gonna make you you then you have to do it. So, yun lang yung sa akin kasi I had to be a mom at an early age. I had to break away from my passion for music at an early age na hindi pa ako sawa. Pero, I have I have to do it. I have to go through it. Diba? So, yun lang. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Melody Del Mundo. Ang drama naman eh. I didn't wanna edit that way, diba? Don't forget to like, subscribe, don't forget to click on the link para makapunta kayo sa mga links nila ni Mel. Oh, may Melody Music TV pala. Okay. So, uh, it's, it's, not, it's a small YouTube channel of mine. Uh, for now, but oh, you'll get know. bigger, so don't forget to subscribe there. Salamat. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you, Pax.